Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Sakar Pachapati and this is the second video of this project. So in this video, I'm going to explain you what type of data set we are going to use and how you can put or how you can frame this data uh, using ChatGPT or other AIs and uh, what will be the end goal of this data. So basically we are going to deal with four or five data sets and we will be putting these data sets or you know csv files or parquet files into a into a gen2 layer uh, manually and that gen2 layer will will act as a source system okay and then what we're gonna do is that we're gonna put that uh, put put those csv files into a branch layer which will be a unity catalog into a unity catalog okay so you know uh, what then what we do we will clean this data and we will put into the silver layer and then on top of that we will be creating our gold layer where we will be clubbing all these tables like the tables which i'm gonna explain you you know over the over the next uh, two minutes i mean right and apart from this apart from this then we will be making a uh, embedding models we will be using embedding models hugging face and we will be doing our uh, embeddings vector search indexing and models having endpoint and sort of thing so please watch this video till the end to understand about the end goal of this project and what type of data you're gonna use it if you like it then you can go ahead and you know uh you know uh and you know like make uh, make database environment then you know make your make uh, azure azure id azure portal and then we'll start you know uh we'll we'll, we'll we'll start learning about how we can pull data from this gen 2 and put it into a unity catalog using some commands using some codes and so right Chalo. so what i did i asked chat gpt that hey these all are the tables name and uh, you know generate a synthetic data code so what he or uh, you know what i got it like i got a full full script over here right so you do not need to you know like if you know the concepts you can use chat gpt for this see it gives me a kind of code so what i ask again hey uh, and, and enhance this code something like that i have i have you know i i ask him hey can we have more data in columns and above table so you know i got a response i got a code then i change it little bit based on my need and what i have now is uh, you know i have written this in the community edition but moving forward i will be using a premium or the free trial version of databricks so that you know we can do all this unity catalog or other stuff so this is just to generate a data right because i was not getting a like the data which i wanted to have which i wanted to show you doing this project so i thought to create by myself right so see we have patient id so you can understand that hey we are gonna build a chatbot right chatbot for a hospital or for a healthcare company you can think of right so in that what we have we have a couple of tables okay a, i mean a healthcare system or healthcare company can have multiple tables one is having a patient table you can consider which has like patient id first name last name email id dob gender address uh, status marriage status blood type contact and emergency and emergency contact this is one data right moving forward we have another table i mean that hospital or that healthcare company has a different uh, different uh, table also which has again a patient id and they have like you know condition diagnosis date doctor name hospital name and ongoing treatment like you know whether the treatment is going on or whether the treatment has been completed or there is there is no treatment something like that right and who is i mean which doctor is uh, doing this uh, take, taking care of this patient and so so see everything we have it over here right apart from that you know we have another table called symptoms so here we have patient sim sim symptoms like what type of symptoms a patient has or she has he or she has right right so severity duration body temperature it is in sense uh, celsius for uh, you know in pain height and pain level right other than that we have another kind of table uh, which has a lab result which has a uh, you know patients uh, the patient went to some lab and they they did some uh, you know uh, like you know the test and also so, so the thing so we have the result of those tests and so 
right and then we have another medications underscore df drug name dosage frequency and so so thing and then we have appointments df so we have like appointment name that you know patient id who is like what is the who, who is the doctor appointment date reason for visit and status so all these four or five tables we are gonna put into a gen 2 and as a source system right and we're gonna build a, I mean we are we are pulling that those csv files into a pi k not pi k into a delta in, you into a uh, using uh, using this unity catalog or databricks and then moving to silver layer and then moving to silver layer now see here if you see we have ongoing treatment treatment value is y yes and no so i so uh, I'd, ideally this y and yes are the same value so we have to clean this we have to make it either y or no sorry y and n or yes and no so we have to make it correct right so something like this here also in gender we have like female and like m and f so we have to make either f or m or female or male something like that we have to figure it out right and here dob is also not correct like you know some the formats are not correct so we have to make it correct so those things you know we have to actually clean it in our silver layer and once everything is done then we will make a kind of master table you know where we will have we will be having a every every uh, every columns into a single table and since we have patient id so we will be using a patient id and so and you know uh, uh, making a master table into a gold layer and then we are doing a we are making we are uh, doing a embedding and then vector search and other than ama and other stuff we are gonna do it after that right so i hope that you understood if you want you can you know check out the course till the end and you know you, you will love it definitely you're gonna love it right so based on all this information a user can actually ask hey this is the patient my my patient id is this tell me about uh you know tell me about uh you know uh the tell me about the temperature uh in the previous visit you know what is my lab result something like that you know we can ask in chat gpt and we can get the response easily but there is no need to go and check in the excel do, go and check in the tables or in the dashboard and so right so uh, it will be very si simple process uh, you know once we have a chat gpt or uh, not chat gpt a chat bot kind of uh, app you know for a customer or maybe for our internal use also right so here actually i'm not gonna build i mean i'm not gonna cover a corner cases because see if it is open to everyone so we have to build some logging system right someone will put their credentials and based on those connections only we we should only show their information we should not show someone else or uh, uh, information what if if someone let's say uh, le let's say my my patient id is p underscore zero right now you 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 are using that application and you're gonna you're gonna put that hey my patient id is p patient id is p underscore one tell me about every detail so this might uh, give you uh, the information of other patient but we do not need to do that right so there should be a proper logging system based on logging system it should only throw uh, through through your your data not someone else data so i mean see if you want to enhance it you can enhance it by yourself but maybe uh, i i'm i'm gonna cover this corner case but uh, as of now no i'm not gonna do that right because i want to show you uh, how we can build how we can use this vector search embedding model logging phase and so my intention is to tell you the you know end-to-end -end things right and enhancement you can do it or maybe if you're if if you're gonna implement the same thing in your company they can also do it right so okay chalo uh, nice to meet you and uh, we'll meet you in the next lecture thank you bye bye